Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Guess what we're doing? We're about to do a bunch of fighting. This will be fun to watch. Fair warning, uh, this is my least favorite part of RE4. Uh, RE4. Um, it's so bad it gave me a country accent for there for a minute. <laughs> um, so we're loading up for War Simulator. Which, I mean, I guess back then, this is like a period of time where I guess, you know, Call of Duty got really popular too, so. There's a sign. <laughs> at the very least, it's at the end of the game. Yes. But that's the always the thing about it. I always find even the bet, like, a lot of the games people call the best, it always seems like the end game is always where the struggles start. Sure. He looks so tired. You <laughs> I am so tired of this shit. How? It's really hard, I imagine, for a villain to be all confident when every single person around them is dead now. What are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? Ooh, a butterfly. <laughs> a bug in my room. <laughs> it is making me nervous. It could fly any second now. If it flies at me, I will scream. <laughs> and that will be very awkward to Leon. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you, Leon. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. I have a job. <laughs> I'm getting married in three weeks. I don't know who to who, but it will happen. <laughs> That's how I put it in my calendar. <laughs> Every three weeks. <laughs> I'll never be wrong. That's a lot of dudes to fight. And they're starting to use guns now and some crossbows. Damn. Hey, it's about time. Sorry, bad traffic. Hell yeah, a helicopter to help us in the fight. You know, helicopters do so well in the Resident Evil universe. Let's see what it can do. Oh, this one's call sign is Morpho. He's doomed. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm stuck. <laughs> Don't shoot anything yet. <laughs> Seems like someone's still trying to get their license. Whoa, dude, that was fucked up. What the hell? <laughs> well, I didn't do anything. Okay, I'll just use my gun. No, he just, he has all these guns, but he keeps on just pushing over things slowly. <laughs> <laughs> also, why was that water tower full of explosives? Isn't it usually full of water? Gas tower. Now that's what Could I'm be a thing. Oh, we get a, we get a name to our pilot. His name is Mike. Huh. Mike the hero. So at this part, uh, you're fighting a bunch of enemies in a big war zone, and the helicopter is, in quotations, helping you. <laughs> but it doesn't do a very good job. So one thing you could do is you could try to fight him, but getting those minigun guys is tough. Sometimes you can wait it out or get close enough and still wait it out, the uh, mic will help you destroy them. Also, for a reason, this tin is bulletproof. So you can sit there and let Mike wiggle at them <laughs> threateningly. I love all the machine gun shots are missing, so it's like, ah, fuck it, it hits <laughs> it with a missile. <laughs> Maybe I'll fire the homing thing. <laughs> Listen, I'm still figuring this helicopter thing out. Also keep in mind, in, in the sakes of lore, this is helicopter two or three at this point? Because we've gotten radio transponders, it's just like, yeah, we sent a helicopter to help you, but it got shot down. And then we didn't, we didn't learn our lesson, so we sent another one. <laughs> one at a time seems like the best protocol. So you got two ways you can go. You can go up or down. Both suck. The problem here as well is that uh, 
yeah, you get surrounded easily, and the minigun is kind of hard to spot because there's a ton of them all over the place. So this is going to be a bit of a, uh, a chore area. In the meantime, I had thoughts on what I was going to do, and I backed down on one of my ideas after wa witnessing. This is a good story moment of what I was thinking about doing on this part because it's a lot of this. Um, I picked up before Christmas uh, one of those one chip challenge chips, you know, the one that's supposed to taste like hell. Mm. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, you know, I, I've, I've had a drink uh, on an LP, but I've never, like, been suffering from spice pain on an LP. <laughs> so up until a certain point, I was like, that's what I'm going to do. But uh, to test it, to see how strong it was, I gave it away as a gift to uh, during Christmas to one side of my family, basically. The side that is will willing to do anything when they're drunk. So I knew they were going to eat it. And I witnessed their pain. And there was a lot of pain to be had. A lot of them ate it and had no idea what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks with what I know about your family. Yeah. I mean, there was one... I videotaped... There was one point where my uncle walked into the room. He's a man in his 60s in bad health. Just walks up and notices when my cousin eats it, and then he's like, what's this? Pops half of it into his mouth, and everyone's like, no, 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 no! <laughs> and the entire time he's blaming, he's like, I didn't do it until you started doing it. What the hell? And he was just dying the whole time. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? This doesn't look fun. And also, there's a whole other video we need to record tonight that might make it difficult. Yeah, having two parts of me snotting on myself <laughs> is probably not the, the correct choice. He's doing a good job at aiming that time. Most of the time, he just kind of sits there and shoots in a direction. Yeah, it's not until he fires the missile that anything actually happens. Yeah, and the missile fire, it's unreliable to say the best, you know, to say the least. Oh, thank you. Because th there's just a lot of situations where you're sitting there waiting for it to happen and it doesn't happen. And then I die or something like that. I think what also doesn't help at this point, this point has like the most boring music. <laughs> so outside of that, it's like, still at this point, I'm kind of waiting for him to blow up that tower over there because there is a minigun, I think in that tower. There's even a, like a challenge combat zone over there that never triggers for me for some reason. So do you need him to destroy the miniguns for you? Yes. I mean, technically, if you, like, bolt at the miniguns, a lot of times he will shoot them, but it's a risk because he doesn't always do it, and then you die. But it turns into a lot of hiding. There is one point uh, that we do have to make sure the miniguns are destroyed because we have to solve a puzzle, and it's impossible when you're being fired at. Can't move this box. I think I'm running all the way back on accident. Yep, there's that bulletproof tent. Yep. We got one in that tower. He has to shoot that down or troubles to be had. <laughs> it sounded like the ladder groaned. <laughs> it sounded like a thwomp. Ooh. Ooh. When I'm bored, sometimes I have to like slam my butt down on a casual sitting down and went like a thwomp. <laughs> you gotta amuse yourself sometimes in life, especially in moments like this. This so I'm also trying to have the helicopter do as much as it can to save my ammunition. It's just not doing a good job of that. So all that super wall, <laughs> all that ammunition I've been saving up is dwindling quickly. Yeah, I've seen him use like two, three missiles and take down two, three guys. Yeah. I mean, he has unlimited ammo. He's got the, oh shit. He's got the Urukoi Pliskin trick where he just has a bandana and he can shoot as much as he wants. There's something about a soldier with a flail that's always very strange to me. <laughs> You know, if I was in a war and I saw a bunch of people with guns, but then one guy was dressed in full fatigues and he had that, I would run. Okay, destroy that tower. 
Jesus Christ, <laughs> this guy die. There are a couple spots where, like, if you go into a corner, it turns into a bit of an ambush, but this area is just kind of open and random. We're trying to find a gate. Oh, and here's another thing I really don't like about this part, that sound mixing thing. Sometimes you just get that one minigun from the helicopter firing constantly in your ear because there's no depth to it, like right now. I'm out of here. All right, he's leaving. Yeah, I'm about to say he's leaving, <laughs> I guess. All right. <laughs> I did my job. This area over here has a little bit of an ambush thing. Oh, hi. That guy's having fun. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> gonna make me want to shout. With my hand, gonna shit. Oh, boy. I don't know where he is. I better just hide. Oh, he's... Ow. Oh, God. I'm running out of healing items. That is one trade-off of having a big health pool, is that unless you have full heals, like, you're using a ton of your healing stuff. It takes at least two green herbs to get anywhere close to good health, and it took one hit from that Gatling gun guy to drop me below half. Not very economic. That guy's just not gonna get up, I guess. Oh, no, that's what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> I thought he was on the ground, yeah. Yeah. No, he is panicking. That is what we refer to as... I don't want to be here! <laughs> never gonna read this, I never gonna read this! You know, if, I don't know what to do about him. <laughs> do you need to? I'm not sure, he's a bit of a wild card. My, my fear, I think, is that he could maybe, I guess, get into the mood and start playing normal, but... Oh, he's... Take a breath. Hold it in. God damn it. <laughs> that was a waste of a barrel. <laughs> I think the helicopter killed him when I wasn't looking. Oh, god damn it. Did the ammo disappear yeah. as soon as I ran out? <sighs> okay, he's not going to flinch to TMP. He's not going to hit you either. You, you would think that. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Me slowly walking away is just one of those. Uh, come on. I mean, my health is pretty much max at this point, except for that little tiny sliver. Oh, my other eye! E. <laughs> Those usually E. Ooh. I just like that sometimes the big guys go E. <laughs> they love their job. Oh no, that is the worst smile. Oh, thank God. Because they don't flinch at anything unless usually you hit them in the head. So I was like, you have the ultimate shield. Oh man, my ammo situation is looking real rough right now. Oh, thank you. I've got so many things I can buy. So going through here, you got to open the gate by pulling this massive switch to go into a terrible place behind it. This is also, this next part is very dependent on the helicopter following you and doing most of the work. Which, as we've established, is a coin flip. Yeah, you have no idea. Oh boy, three miniguns. You shouldn't have. Quickly, like, just run to this side. Enemies start pouring in from above and below, but those chain guns will just tear you to pieces, so... Sometimes the choice is either waiting down here for enemies to fall and shoot them that way, or going up top and basically doing it the opposite way. You shivering, you're so cold. Chilly in Spain. <laughs> oh god, very <laughs> drop kicks you down the hole. Oh god, oh god, no, no. <laughs> Fucking dynamite stick. Alright, so, uh... 
I'm trying to decide whether I want to for, wait for enemies that will try to flank me or try to run and battle the miniguns. I'll give this section this. It's intense. Maybe the first time, yeah. <laughs> I love uh, how kind of bro Mike is. Really, God, I shut him down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're being frustrated. Like, oh, oh, come on! <laughs> Somebody get a gun for fuck's sake! <laughs> no, no, no! My turn. <laughs> Let me try. Oh fuck me! <laughs> What do you do? Uh. <laughs> that was neat. Oh, fuck. Pick up the ammo. All, all the TMP. Think I dealt with... Oh, no. <laughs> they just won't stop. Hey. So you're going to knock me down or what? <laughs> it's like he's waiting. He's like, I'm, I'm going to fall. So just, just do it. What are you waiting for? I finally did. Oh, thank God. All right. So, I mean, I did mention that you do want to try to wait for Mike to shoot down the uh, the Gatling groins here, but uh, you, it's you can do it yourself, but it's really hard to get a good angle on them without getting hit. And as you can tell, we don't have a whole lot of healing, and they do a lot of damage, so uh, no. Just try to find places to hide and hope Mike does your job. Which, uh. Any moment, Mike. So, thank God I have some cover here. Can't get me from behind this shed. Which, unlike the tent, isn't bulletproof. <laughs> Oddly enough. I'm thinking at this point because Mike is taking too long, we don't get a good angle on them. Oh no, they know exactly where I am at all times. Mike? Mike, please. <laughs> we have to open the gate behind them, which is guarded by two shelves. Oh, actually, there we go. There's the puzzle part. We gotta do that, but we can't do it while the miniguns are active. Told me to get out of the way. Fine, I'll hide behind this. I'm out of your way. I'm, 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 I'm in your way. Yeah, he just blew up my cover. Great. What an asshole. Us, <laughs> oh, ammo over there. That's right in front of the miniguns. And explosive barrel. Yeah, not good. I could try to shoot that guy maybe, but like he is. He has very few openings, and as you can see, if there is a difficulty in this game, is aiming quickly is not something you can do mm -hmm. very easily. I would wonder if I didn't fast forward through this part. I wanted you all to experience how much of a slot this is. See, look at that. I should be hitting him. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> my nose is metal. <laughs> he takes off his nose play. It's like, best money I've ever spent. <laughs> you know, in training, people would shoot my nose off all the time. I thought maybe I could hit him with a grenade if I'm fast enough. God damn it. Eh. <laughs> my arm's so tired. Damn my shaky arms. All right, maybe I can blind him and run behind him and kill him. Just maybe. Let's give that a shot. I gotta get closer, though. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> All right. Ah, good times. So I did a little bit of fast forwarding and skipped some of the nonsense because it puts you all the way back to the beginning of this room. Fuck you, Mike. At least it's not the beginning of the whole section. Oh, no, I would start crying. <laughs> Not Leon, me. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, Leon doesn't remember it. 
No. <laughs> this is what would happen if things went wrong. Uh. Shows you. This is the other way, like, either way you go here it closes, but there's switches on each side. This is the one that tends to get you killed easier, so. Less cover and such. That's one thing that pissed me off about Mike. He blows up your cover, like, on two separate occasions in this space. If you just called him and told him that it was your cover. <laughs> but Leon doesn't want to talk right now. <laughs> he was too busy screaming, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Over and over again. Yeah, he's warning you he's gonna blow up your cover. <laughs> he's telling you and you don't do anything about it. L listen, he doesn't yell, so Leon's just like, let me, let me talk, let, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let, let. <laughs> I'm not very assertive, okay? Oh, guns are still going. I was gonna ask if that was everyone. I think, well, the music just stopped, so now he's just... Thank God the music stopped. I hate that song. <laughs> it's so out of place. Boom, dun, 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 bum, bum. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Can I hop over the goddamn? God damn it. Let's vamoose. Let's get a moose. Kick off my Sunday shoes. Here we go to thank Mike for some assistance. <laughs> you sound like the pig from Star Fox. <laughs> Dubs flying by. <laughs> Fucking Looney Tunes. <laughs> Finally out of ammo. Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> Not Mike. <laughs> yeah. Our best friend! Godfather of my future children! <laughs> when I get married in three weeks! <laughs> oh! No! Oh. Make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. I missed the hole. <laughs> Let me immediately cause he's like, no, 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 no. Sadler, you bastard. It's nothing to get all upset. Too bad for Mike. He said he could thread the hole and he couldn't. It might come to some surprise. I threaded him on Facebook just five minutes ago. It doesn't compare to human lives. When you've acquired this power, you too will understand. That reminds me, I killed the bug finally. <laughs> Yum. I wish you luck. By that I mean it flew into my mouth on accident. I am terrified. But I swallowed. <laughs> so Mike is dead. Uh well, along with Luis, our best friends. How many friends does Leon really have? Well, none left now. He's gonna put his hands on Ashley's shoulders like, I can't take this shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've killed so many of my friends, Ashley. <laughs> I've been kidnapped for half of this adventure. <laughs> yeah, and who do you gotta blame for that? <laughs> it's because of all the people you kill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you go to jail for this <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Get onto the helicopter, Astley. First off, no helicopter. Secondly, this is gonna get really old real fast. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> For one of us. <laughs> Don't worry, at the rate we're going, you're not gonna live long either. 
<laughs> Ashley, you're a good friend. Starts laughing to himself. <laughs> Ashley's like, no. No! <laughs> Starts backing up. Oh boy, a hole. This must have been the one that uh, Sadler fell down. <laughs> you see him just limp out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, I know, I have that effect on people. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever just met a girl that makes you go... Oh, <laughs> 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 no, no, he's turning! You know how you fix problems with parasites? Stab. <laughs> I just realized by our own metric, the fact that he's now given a name to Ashley means they're actually friends. <laughs> yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. I gotta save Ashley. Okay, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't understand. <laughs> She's a murderer that needs to be brought to justice. <laughs> Leon, I think you lost the thread to what you're doing here. <laughs> So would you like to one more small dip into the zone of horror? Why not? It's the end of the game. Yeah. Hmm, interesting sinks. Let's take a look. There's something in here. No, no Ashley in there. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Just pokes it. Ashley? <laughs> no time to take a nap. Well, it looks like he's having fun. <laughs> Jealous a little bit, but <laughs> at least we know there's a regenerator in here somewhere. Better save before we fight this one regenerator. <laughs> this part comes out of nowhere. I think this is the game's apology of like, okay, we know you didn't like that part. And we're gonna do that part again. So here's one <laughs> way to break it up. <laughs> we'll at least remind you this is Resident Evil. <laughs> Sometimes we're scary, Resident Evil. Let's check in on our on our friend here. Dancing and dead. <laughs> the hell is this thing? Oh, never mind. I'll thank the Brit. That is a huge chair. Holy shit. <laughs> well, yeah, they're really tall. Oh, yeah, the regeneration just sitting there with his legs crossed. Come, take a seat. Leon, we need to talk. You breathe too quietly. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those, like he, I feel like that's something he got as a participation reward when he was a kid. You know how like sometimes they'll just give you like uh, quietest kid in class or, you know, most, that thing like he got like quietest breather at his school. <laughs> and damn proud of it. There he is. I'm here. And he's a normal one. So he's got, well, he's got more parasites than the average normal one. He's got the parasites that the uh, Iron Maidens have. I got those participation awards for breaking all the beakers in science class <laughs> and for pulling a tooth on school premises. <laughs> Not mine, someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing dentist and I took it a little too far. Oh God. What in the hell? <laughs> they can do that, yes. Okay, I'm out of energy.
You know what? First time this game legitimately shocked me. Yeah, <laughs> this laid into. Yeah. When they leap on you like that, they just start gnawing at your throat with their sharp teeth. It's really creepy. But that's it for regenerators. That's the last one. I'm still on the belief that they're the scariest enemy in this game, but, you know, no comparison. Yeah. I think it's the uncanny valley effect of it. They look somewhat human, but not. And they, they look like weird, naked, malformed humans to just walk at you and breathe creepy. There's just so much going for it. I still think they are one of the scariest enemies in Resident Evil, period. Like, you could probably put it in Silent Hill and it would still work. Oh, yeah. Of course, then it'd have to be some sort of, like, uh, visual metaphor for it existing in some way. Like, a lot of them are, like, regret or repressed, like, sexual feelings and things like that. Like, Regenerator would be, like, the guilt of walking around your apartment naked and not realizing <laughs> your blinds are closed or something. I don't know. <laughs> it is a legitimate fear I have in my apartment. <laughs> Because I don't always know if my blinds are closed, and I'm like, I better go to my, go get some clothes for laundry. And then I look around, I'm like, God, I hope someone's not sitting on the stairs. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's a lot of dudes we have to take care of over here. None of them are naked. Yet. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it would have been scary if it was a parasite holding a shield. That'd be... Whoa. <laughs> well. How the hell did he do... Man, that... <laughs> Perfect aim. You know what? I respect that guy. Yeah. <laughs> if you notice, these guys miss a lot less than the others when it comes to throwing projectiles. Oh, shit. Except him. Oh, there we go. Also, I heard a yee. So you know who's there. Yee. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy does the same thing that the fucking hatchet guy does, if I remember correctly. The guy's like, <laughs> he's gonna be, oh shit. What about the stick just slipped out of his hand immediately? <laughs> oh god. At least that's a good cue that he won't be a parasite. He's in the worst spot. I gotta get headshots on him to be able to stun him from using his shot. Look where he is. I can't get a headshot on him. So I have to shoot his gun. It's the only part that's exposed, but he keeps on hitting me. Cover, cover, cover. All right, I've finally reached full health. I am complete. How long will this last? <laughs> I'm just, I was like, please die. Fuck me. There are some invisible, uh... See, he won't flinch if you just hit him in the normal spots, like the hand stuff. This is just bad. And he's done, thank God. So I was sitting there going like, why don't these people have guns? I can't think of like an in-lore reason, but I can think of an in-game version. If a lot of people had would have guns in this game, this game would blow. <laughs> you can tell, but for me, when I look at this part of the level, the way they're placing assets down, it definitely seems rushed at this point. Yeah, a little bit. Like the random placement, lines of barrels and things like that, and unmatching materials. It's like, I feel like this part of the level in particular is like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing on that. Uh, thank God it went over my head. Damn it, I guessed he'd be taller. But yeah, I mean, if that's one problem I have with, I mean, even like, I don't know, it seems like a consistent in these, like, really good games is that you really start noticing some of the uh, the paint start peeling in the last bit of it. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's just because there's so much time and focus taken on to like mechanics and things like that at the beginning that by the time they get here, it's, you know, they have to rush it to get it out the door because they focus too much on the first half. In this case, though, I would say the first two thirds. And you could tell they had fun with that middle third. Oh yeah, they did. That'd be the part of the, if I was a vi like working on video games, that's the department I'd want to be in. Yeah. The point of this one is we need to find, uh, I believe it's a switch to open up a gate to get out of here. And I think we need a key card for that. Which I think is over here, which activates a similar puzzle like we saw before. We gotta kill that guy to get the key card and then activate the two switches here to open the gates to get out. Which means people start pouring in. This is one of the situations where everyone starts head parasiting. Which I never thought I'd turn into a verb, but here we are. <laughs> Thank God the uh, red nine is really strong. <laughs> It killed that hair, head parasite in two shots. Those herbs are gonna drive me nuts. They're the new egg. They just don't sound as fun. That's not as fun to say as egg. Herbs. Herbs. <laughs> it's pretty fun to say though. <laughs> yeah. If you say it like that frustrated, like herbs. Herbs. <laughs> Oh good, there's another flash grenade right there. It's like you didn't use one at all. Didn't use it at all. We use it at no, all. No, is it at all? No. <laughs> Stupid sexy Leon. <laughs> Stupid sexy grenade. <laughs> Stupid sexy Erp. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Get out of here, parasite. Jesus, that, that didn't even, there was no transition on that one. I want it out. And I want it now. There we go. God, the red nine's so powerful. Too bad I'm not finding any ammo for it. Oh, God. Arp. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> And we got the key from that random dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's what that guy was saying. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps on checking his attaché case. <laughs> It's like how Go when Golem says his name in the movies, he coughs and I just <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he won't stop. <laughs> no, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Don't head spare like, Oh god damn it. See, there's another thing about head parasites. It's just more of a thing to waste ammo on. Yeah. For example. I think it honestly, like this point, even though like you could try to aim to flip all the switches with the enemies going around, it is an ammo saver that way. It does increase your chance of dying. And there is the hope that like when I kill enemies, I hope that they do drop valuables. That's one of the main reasons that I try to kill them. If you don't have confidence in your accuracy, you may not want to do that tactic, especially if you're low on ammo. It's more important at that point to obviously get, basically get the key cards and get out of there even before the enemies truly like spawn too much or surround you, but it's way harder to do. but then the, de the dead quiet of, okay, you're done, I'll just fucking. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the game gets to this point, like, all right, well, I guess you fucking did it. Could be like that. 
Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't do it cool. Herb? Herb? <laughs> you need to go up to the next person. I'm look, apparently someone's looking for someone named Herb. Is it Herb or Herb? I guess it depends on what country you're from. <laughs> Biggest American. <laughs> oh boy, I have tons of ammunition. This will go great. I don't think I really get a whole lot of ammunition lead up to this point anymore. I mean, there's not a whole lot of game left. I think that's the last of like, I would describe as the slog parts if I remember correctly. Thank goodness. As a first timer outside looking in, it didn't look too bad. I can't see like if you go through the game multiple times, how fresh and exciting the first two are, and then this is gray rectangles. Well, and we've gotten so used to this point in the game, especially with how the castle and the village handled it, that like each zone felt kind of unique and special. Mm -hmm. Like you'd go to different rooms and there'd be like a different puzzle element, a different look, things like that. And that just felt the most, I would say the most least Resident Evil so far. <laughs> <laughs> but going from this point, uh, now that we've cut our way through those sorts of parts. As you, even as an outside, I would say, would you describe that as maybe like a, on a ranking between say A to F, maybe like a B minus or C plus would be kind of where I would place it. I don't know how you would necessarily place that part. I'd pro if I played it myself, the intensity of it, I would probably enjoy, but it does look long and tiring. So probably higher C's, yeah. I think if honestly, like that part where we ran into one regenerator, if they extended the game a little bit and made that like maybe a, a 10, 15 minute part with more regenerators, maybe a couple more floors and I don't know, just creepiness from that point, it would be a more clean split. But unfortunately, like that was not enough time for me to, <laughs> I weird, I guess, breathe out. <laughs> yeah. Or even if they somehow had it transition into the regenerator a little better and had the regenerator more part of this war zone kind of thing, which throws everything off and makes it even more intense. That could be kind of cool. I think it'd be cool at that part, because obviously we talked about uh, a couple parts ago, like the reason maybe why the regenerators weren't there with the normal people. It would have been cool, like it would set you up that like you'd see a soldier in there and then you see like the regenerator's hand, like grab it and pull it off screen or something like that. Oh, yeah. And then like it turns into a whole like predator and prey moment where you're just waiting for the thing to try to come for you. That would have been kind of neat, um, as opposed to just turning around and cell and be like, oh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my house. Although it leaping at you like a salmon was definitely a <laughs> yeah, right. Definitely a highlight. Just a regenerator traveling upstream. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was the transition between war zones. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little video. A stream full of bears and regenerators. Watching them return home to spawn. Oh, God. You open the door and some regenerators are just fucking... <laughs> just horrifying. Then that would be Silent Hill. Yeah, that would. <laughs> but next time, or for at least the uh, last part of the main story here, we still have one more asshole to deal with. Tiny Time finally needs to be taken <laughs> care of. Tiny Time's adventures. <laughs> oh, yeah, we also have to heal, heal a parasite. I wonder how we could do that in one video. Guess we'll see and find out. In the meantime, just think about regenerators fucking and good night. <laughs> no, I get it. I miss Mike, too. <laughs> just goes up and hugs one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I imagined you felt like. Do, do, do. Do do. <laughs> he just starts humming a wedding song next to it. <laughs> and we've gone too far.